Hello, I am in Colorado at my parents' house and we're about to go for a little morning walk. James and I got here yesterday afternoon. I just decided to start the vlog today because we didn't really do anything yesterday. We were so exhausted from driving for two days straight. So yeah, I'm just happy to be here. My birthday's tomorrow. Um, I think we're gonna do like a birthday dinner tonight and then obviously Thanksgiving's this week. Um, also, my sister-in-law just had a baby a few days ago, so I'm gonna meet my third niece this week. So lots of exciting things happening and I'm just gonna vlog it all. I'm wearing this jacket from Free People. It's literally so cute. And then the set is from Vite Apparel. Angelina N15 for 15% off. You wanna go on a walk? Okay. <laughs> We're trespassing and building a house that's being built because no one's here. We're in the basement. <laughs> Ew, look at the handprint. That's weird. Breaking the law is fine if your parents say it's okay. So these are the eggs from my brother's chickens. They have, literally some of them lay green eggs. They're like all these different colors. Some of them are dark, some of them are small, some of them are big. They're from his little- Some of them are going in the pan. So we're gonna have eggs for breakfast. Added some garlic salt on top and just some pepper. Making some toast. Um, I might. We got some farm fresh egg. Oh, not even farm fresh, backyard fresh. With some Cholula always. Thank you. Mm. So I'm taking all of my usual supplements, just my hair, skin, and nails, women's multivitamin, and maca. And then I've also been taking my seed daily symbiotic prebiotic supplements. They're in like this beautiful little container and they're in here in these little green capsules. So this video is sponsored by Seed, which I'm very excited about. So let me tell you a little bit about them. Seed's Daily Symbiotic is a 24 strain, broad spectrum, probiotic and prebiotic formulated for digestive, gut, immune, and systemic benefits. So it is a probiotic and a prebiotic in one capsule and you take two a day. I have been absolutely loving them. So I feel like whenever you think of probiotic and prebiotic, you think gut health, but it goes way, way beyond that. So some of the other benefits of seed symbiotic include gastrointestinal function, gut barrier integrity, even cardiovascular health, gut immune function, dermatolog dermatological health. So your gastrointestinal system affects basically everything in your body, which is why taking a symbiotic, so a probiotic and a prebiotic in one, is so, so beneficial to our health and to our bodies. So seed is delivered monthly in a very sustainable way. The shipping box and the bio-based tray are made with the environment in mind, and the jar is glass, so it's obviously reusable, which you can reuse for your monthly refills, which also come in a bio-based pouch. So if you would like to try out seed for yourself, which I highly recommend you can use my little code Angelina 15 for 15% 15 off at checkout and click the link in the description to get started thanks so much to seed for sponsoring this video daddy hopefully it's been like a year wait what no, you haven't seen her in like a year no not since last Christmas year. yeah and what did you get just blending them with the locals Mr. Mountain Man we're gonna share the PBR hat because I want it too. <laughs> we almost got matching ones. I love this hat. I know. I was gonna get it for you last time. I'm so glad you bought it. And some Carhartt gloves. Yeah, for skiing. Okay, we just did a little grocery haul for the week and also for Thanksgiving. My mom has basically like most of the things, like the house is pretty stocked, so we didn't need to do like anything crazy, but got sausages. This is kind of for Thanksgiving instead of having like a turkey. We got some vegan sausages and then I'm gonna use at least one of them for the vegan stuffing I'm making. Got some burger patties because we almost always have burgers at my parents' house. And then we also got some ground impossible meat for tacos that we're having tomorrow on my birthday dinner. Got some oat milk. I think my mom is making vegan mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna use, or she's gonna use that. And then 
I made the stuffing for Friendsgiving with gluten-free bread because one of our friends was gluten-free, but I'm just gonna use regular bread. So I just got this, an onion and celery for the stuffing, cream cheese, just because my parents have bagels for like breakfast and stuff, and then some vegan cheese, butter, again for Thanksgiving, and for the mashed potatoes. And then I finally found some non-dairy whipped cream because my sister-in-law is making a vegan pumpkin pie which I'm very excited about. I could not find vegan whipped cream anywhere back home, so really excited that I found that. So that is the little haul. So my parents and James and I are going out to dinner at this Asian fusion restaurant in Durango, which is like an hour's drive away. And We've never been before. They have like sushi, ramen, um, lots of stuff. So I'm pretty excited. I love sushi so much. So it's sort of like my birthday dinner in a way. My birthday's tomorrow. Um, my sister-in-law and brother aren't coming just cause like they have a newborn baby and you know, it's just like sometimes you don't want to go new places and like expose them to a lot of things. So I think tomorrow we're gonna do like a little dinner at home with like tacos and cake and all that kind of stuff. But tonight we're just going out with my parents and it's kind of like a family tradition to like go out to dinner and whoever's birthday it is gets to pick where they want to go. And since we're in Colorado, I figured we'd go here. birthday happy birthday to me I'm 24 I don't want to talk about it I don't want to be old I know it's not old but we don't need to talk about it I'm excited we're gonna have a fun day James isn't working today so we're just gonna take Dixie on a walk right now around the neighborhood uh, we've kind of just been like chilling around this morning drinking coffee we're gonna go mountain bike riding and then we might grab some lunch and then my family like my brother sister-in-law and nieces are coming over tonight and we're gonna have tacos for dinner which i'm really excited about and yeah it's just gonna be like a chill birthday i feel like i've already kind of celebrated it because yesterday I went out to dinner with my parents and james and then Last weekend I had a birthday party. I always have to have my birthday party like a week before because my birthday's always like in the week of Thanksgiving. Everyone's always gone. So I kind of already celebrated it, but it's kind of fun to drag it out. I feel like it's been a birth month instead of a birthday, which is fun because I'm all about milking my birthday. Like it's the one day of the year that you can literally ask and do whatever you want and people will do things for you. And so why not milk it as much as you can? This is my birthday outfit. Suit, my Hoka ones, and a beanie. Dixie, it's going to walk. You want to go on a walk? Oh. <laughs> the gang's all here. Squad. <laughs> James is making me and him a little birthday brekkie. Mm. We got bagels, eggs mushrooms, vegan cream cheese. This is like a new brand that I just found the other day and it's pretty, well not a new brand, but like a new cream cheese from this brand. And I like it, I think it's pretty good. You always have to put the everything but the bagel seasoning back on your everything bagel because so many of the little seeds and stuff fall off when you're toasting them. So I got an everything bagel, cream cheese, vegan obviously, everything but the bagel seasoning. Scrambled eggs because the pan, we couldn't, the yolks broke. <laughs> the yolks broke, so they're not fried eggs. Um, and mushrooms, orange juice, James got avocado. Also, we have on a new fit now. I'm just wearing these like warm leggings. My hokas, of course. Um, this top is from Katomi. It has matching. Uh, like biker shorts, but obviously it's too cool for that. And then I thrifted this little Patagonia like fleece vest, and we're going mountain bike riding, so we have some gloves and helmets that we're gonna wear. This is not my official birthday outfit. This is my birthday mountain biking outfit. Looking good. Twenty-four never looked better. 
Like I said, just kind of had like a slow day, which is always kind of nice because I feel like we've done a lot already since we've been here. But we're driving to the downtown area and we're just gonna walk around, maybe get some lunch, maybe get some drinks, maybe go to some shops, just see where that takes us. This is like kind of a small town, so there's not like a whole lot to do here if you're not like hiking and like doing things outdoors. So yeah, we'll just see what happens. Just kind of having a chill day. I feel like I've just been showing so much food in this video, but I feel like that's just like a big part of this week because it's like Thanksgiving, my birthday, everything revolves around food. So we're gonna have dinner now, we're having tacos. I made impossible meat for James and I, and then we just have like refried beans, rice, and all that stuff. And then my mom made me the cutest little cake with 24 candles, so we're gonna have cake for dessert, and my whole family's here, so we're all just kind of hanging out, which is why I'm not really vlogging because you know, just trying to like be present in the moment since I only see my family like a few times a year. So that's kind of what's going on right now. Do you guys remember you? you just have some huh. I love her. I know you do. Aww. Now you got two little sisters, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. It is the day after my birthday, so I'm officially 24. Don't feel any different, but James and I are going on a little morning drive before he has to work today, and I thought I'd show you guys my outfit. So, this beanie I think is from Urban Outfitters like two years ago. This jacket is from Free People Movement. I'm obsessed. It's literally the cutest, softest, comfiest, just everything. I love the color. I'll link it down below. This outfit is from Vite again, Angelina N15 for 15% off. As per usual, these colors together is everything. Also leave it to me to wear a crop top in like 40 degree. It's like supposed to snow tonight weather, but that's what we do. And my New Balances 574s that I got off Depop. Another day, another of basically the same breakfast as yesterday, so just an everything bagel with some vegan <laughs> vegan cream cheese. Well, it's not your fault, it's the pan. But yeah, we have some eggs, they look a little interesting. And some of the leftover taco meat from last night's tacos, just to use them up and just for extra protein. I don't know, we didn't really know what else to use it for, so that's brekkie. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I brought Dirtle with me. <laughs> We brought him to Colorado. He went on a little road trip. He has his litter box and his food. He's just hanging out in the room with us. Couldn't leave the wabbit behind. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. Hello. It's been a while. I didn't really film yesterday after the morning because basically all day yesterday I just spent editing a video 
which wasn't really that exciting. And we have family coming. My cousin arrived yesterday and then we have more family coming today. So it's just been a little bit hectic. I feel very out of breath right now. So this morning I have been studying. We went for a little walk. Um, I ate a vegan cinnamon roll. And now James, me and my cousin are gonna go to the gym here. I've never been to the gym here before. I'm hoping since it's a small town that it'll be not too busy and we're also going in the middle of the day. And it's Thanksgiving break, so we'll see. So that's the plan for now. And then I think tonight we're gonna have dinner at my brother's house. So just like a family week, you know, I've been trying to be present. I've been reading a lot, working a lot, um, spending time with family and stuff. So, And then obviously tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so that'll be really fun. I'll definitely vlog tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see if I can film a little bit of my workout. We'll see if it's super busy. Um, we'll find out. Another day, another plate of eggs. So I already had a cinnamon roll before we went to the gym, uh, just to like put something in my stomach. But now I'm having two eggs for protein and also <laughs> James made me a little protein shake, just vegan protein powder. I think it's the Orgain brand, um, just blended with like ice and water. So I'm just drinking that and then having the two eggs. Happy Thanksgiving. It is full chaos in the kitchen at the moment. Um, everything's happening, everyone's cooking stuff. I feel like this is always how Thanksgiving is. There's like 10 people in the kitchen like racing around and then like the kids running around and like, I don't know, someone's watching football on the TV. Like there's just a lot going on. I just made the stuffing. I'm doing like a vegan stuffing. Um, everything else is pretty much vegan. My mom's doing vegan mashed potatoes. My sister-in-law's doing vegan green bean casserole and also doing a vegan pumpkin pie and a vegan apple pie and a vegan berry apple pie, which is amazing. I'm like so thankful that people are doing that basically for me. Um, but I made the vegan stuffing because me and James both don't eat meat. Well, he eats fish, but like we don't eat sausage and usually stuffing has sausage in it. So I made vegan sausage. I'll link the recipe down below. I switched it up a little bit. It's one that I found online, but I just sort of changed it to make it vegan because it's not originally and I added vegan sausage, um, but if you want to see, I sort of like show my me making it in my Friendsgiving video, which should be the most previous video. Um, but yeah, we went for a little hike this morning. Like I said, haven't really been vlogging. I also did buys and back this morning. I filmed that, so that should be on my Instagram, probably by the time you're watching this, I'm assuming I'll probably put it out tomorrow or something. I'm sorry, the room is so messy right now, but fit is this bodysuit from Zara and some thrifted Levi's and I did my makeup a little bit. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> and fuzzy socks. Hello, I feel like it's been a while. Kind of like the day after Thanksgiving. I woke up with a sore throat, as you can tell, I don't sound my greatest. I feel like a little bit stuffed up, a sore throat. My mom was sick when we went out. She got a COVID test, so she's negative. So I'm just kind of assuming that that's what it is. Um, I'll probably end up getting a COVID test, but I feel like everyone that I know of <laughs> um, in the past couple of weeks has just like come, come down with a cold. So I feel like that's probably what it is. I don't feel super bad. I don't have like a fever. Um, I can taste and smell and all that, so just like a little bit of a sore throat. Um, yesterday we went for a drive. I think I filmed a little bit, but yeah, kind of just been hanging out with family. I feel bad because I haven't really been vlogging that much. It's just kind of hard for me sometimes to remember, and also just because I didn't feel that great. I wasn't really thinking about it, um, but we didn't really do anything too crazy. Just hanging out with family, went for a little road trip. Um, not road trip, but like a little off-roading trip, and yeah. Just been eating food and hanging out, reading books. I did finish this book um, before she died. Actually really good. I read one of Lisa Gardner, this author, one of her other books before this one and it wasn't really good. So I was like apprehensive about reading another one of hers but I actually really liked that one. I do recommend. Um, and I also just bought a book on my phone 
because I just finished that book and now I'm like, you know, I feel like I need something to read on the trip. And it's called The Mountain Is You. It's like a self-transformation, self-help book. And I just started that. So yeah, we're just getting gas right now. Um, we got Dirtle in the back <laughs> in his carrier. And we're gonna stay at a hotel tonight in Flagstaff, Arizona, sort of like the halfway point between where my parents live and San Diego. Um, we just stopped at Subway and picked up some veggie sandwiches for the road. <coughs> and yeah, we should be home tomorrow. So I'll probably vlog a little bit more of this, just sort of like the end of our trip. Um, and that's what's been going on. We are back in San Diego. Um, there was definitely a lot of traffic. We, I feel like all I filmed today is like the food that we ate, but we got Burger King as you saw, and we just picked up dinner. <laughs> so what are you doing? Let's see if the goggles I got with the helmet. <sighs> Let's see. <laughs> yeah, no, they look good actually. Is that what they're supposed to look like? Yeah. <laughs> so we picked up some falafel from this little falafel food truck. So there's falafel, saffron rice, pita, tabbouleh salad, and hummus with like tahini. And then we got some dolma. And James got the same thing. So we're just gonna eat, watch movies, rest from our long trip. <laughs> We've been watching the show Dope Sick on Hulu, which is super good. I highly recommend it. It's all about like big pharma and it's really good. And also on the way, like on the drive, we listened to Small Town Murder, the podcast. I think we listened to like three episodes today and they're, they're all like two hours at least long. Highly recommend. They are definitely our favorite road trip podcast because they're super long. They're funny, but they're also about like murders kind of sounds weird like it wouldn't go together but it does if you're into that kind of stuff um so yeah highly recommend that podcast if like <laughs> um if you need something to make the time go by fast but i'm gonna end the vlog here because i'm tired we're home we're not in colorado anymore and i'm probably gonna start a new vlog this week so stay tuned for the weekly vlogs bye <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! <laughs>